new at 10 surveillance video shows how thieves took their time stealing from a club in San Francisco's Tenderloin District. Now, this theft was just one of two crimes to hit the club within hours. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now in the newsroom after speaking with the club's operators about how this went on for so long. Amber. Greg, the operations director, tells me he's disappointed by what happened and the police response. What happened, what started as a vandalism, ended in what looked like a free-for-all with people coming and going, taking whatever they wanted. The live music at Black Cat Jazz Supper Club in San Francisco's Tenderloin District is not missing a beat, despite surviving an 18-month-long pandemic shutdown and now vandalism and burglary early Tuesday morning. It's just the, a battle to keep our business alive. A man is captured on surveillance video breaking the glass door with a skateboard around 1.15 in the morning and runs off. Not long after, people started burglarizing the club. Just over an hour later, police officers arrive after being alerted by a witness. The fire department tells me it responded at the request of police as a courtesy and temporarily covered up the shattered door. Officers say they made multiple attempts to contact a representative of the business, but was unsuccessful. After police and fire left, people can be seen inside the club stealing again. It's not like they have to secure it, but at least to, to not come back and check on it again is very disheartening. Adam Chapman with Black Cat says more than 20 people burglarized the club for hours until an employee came to work around 7 a.m., finding shattered glass and empty shelves. You kind of feel violated a little bit, right? It's like your, your place, your space. This is like my second home I'm here all the time. Black Cat, living its proverbial nine lives, did not close a day despite what happened. There's no damage to the inside of the club. That would have been catastrophic. We have a lot of like really nice things in here. You know, they could have broken things. They could have spray painted it. Really, it was just the cash, cash grab. Chapman says stolen items include alcohol, food, musical equipment, and instruments. The estimated loss is twenty-five thousand to fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Chapman says it's important to have this club thrive in the Tenderloin, a space for young jazz musicians. After something like this happens at the Black Cat, it's not going to happen again. I don't see it. I think that they're probably going to, you know, figure out ways to make sure something like that doesn't happen again. Chapman tells me additional security measures are being added at Black Cat. The police department says it is currently working on creating policy to better address incidents such as these. Christina? Yeah, pretty remarkable surveillance video there, Amber. Amberly in our newsroom. Amber, thank you. Well, also new.